The first uh, significant uh, reading uh, of my life uh, was actually in a very young age. Uh, I found, found out my, why my parents uh, gave me my name. Uh, they told me it was after a character, one of uh, Shmuel Yosef Agnon's characters uh, in his uh, story Tehila. So I went over uh, to our library and looked for that book. And uh, in that book, uh, there's a story about this uh, writer and also uh, uh, about this old lady which he visits. And on the way to this old lady that he's supposed to visit, he meets this lady, Tehila, who shows him in some sort uh, the way to the other lady. And uh, the reason it was so significant uh, for me in the beginning was because when I read it, I was just a kid, maybe in third or fourth grade. And uh, this Tehila person in the story was a very old lady. She was like 104 years old in the, in the story. And um, it really got into me why my parents gave me uh, such a heavy name of a very old lady. And uh, year after year, I got back to the story and I, I think... I read it over 15 times, and each time I visited uh, this story again and again, I found something else there. It's a masterpiece, and uh, I'm not sure yet uh, why my parents <laughs> gave me that name, but I'm, I'm sure very much uh, happy about that name because it gave me a, a very uh, um, special motivation to reread uh, such a beautiful story uh, again and again. Well, I started writing in a very young age, maybe in my teens, uh, but uh, back then, of course, I didn't publish anything. Um, and I think the reason I started writing back then was uh, because I always uh, loved books. I always read books since I was uh, very young, since uh, third or... Since I learned how to read, I started reading books and uh, writing then, back then, was entering uh, this world, this beautiful, amazing, uh, great world of books, of language, of stories, of places that I've never been to. And um, writing later, uh, writing and publishing and uh, becoming a publishing uh, writer or poet uh, was after understanding that I have something important to say. I have the urge and uh, to say it and I, I had the feeling that I got my specific way to say what uh, I must say. Well, I do admire lots of other disciplines uh, in in the art. Uh, I love the cinema and also I love I love visual arts. Uh, my twin sister, uh, she's a she's an artist, and I admire her work. And ho all my house is full with her artworks, uh, like this one here, and also on the other walls which you don't see. And uh, this is why I'm so excited about coming to Buenos Aires and participating in a program that is part of the, of the Malba um, as being part of something uh, in a museum as big as, as wonderful, so I've heard, as the Malba is very exciting uh, for me. Well, in my case, traveling and writing does has a very strong bond. Uh, for the past uh, 10 years, I've had an engineering career. And during uh, th th this time, I was traveling a lot uh, in the world. And uh, sometimes uh, those uh, weeks or months of traveling were the best time for me to sit and write because after work, at the hotel, uh, you don't have uh, family uh, around or friends or even chores around the house. So uh, it was the best time to work 
uh, with no uh, no one uh, phoning uh, on on my writing. So um, I find it very inspiring uh, being somewhere else and working on a on a project, especially if this uh, project is a novel or a prose project. As in uh, poetry, I feel that I don't need a specific time or place. And also, uh, in 2018, I had a very strong experience uh, in a residency that I participated in, in the US. It was a three months long uh, residency in uh, Iowa University. And um, I, uh, I worked on novel there. And I found it very inspiring uh, doing it uh, somewhere away from my desk, from my house, uh, from my country. And um, I think that uh, traveling uh, uh, makes, makes you more, sometimes can make you more comfortable with your characters and uh, makes you uh, push your boundaries of narratives even. Uh, because seeing uh, a different atmosphere from what you used to can be very helpful. Well, I'm not sure yet how the pandemic will affect my, uh, my literature or my writing. I do know that it made everything uh, slower around. Uh, it made me think a lot about the projects I'm working on now. So maybe uh, it will uh, give me another lesson in patience um, in regard with uh, book publishing, uh, etc. Um, and also I, I think that uh, I will only know uh, how, it, how it affected me uh, a bit later. Well, now I'm working on a, a few projects in parallel, each one in a different stage. I'm uh, finishing uh, finally uh, my first novel. Um, it's uh, about a hunter, an Israeli hunter in America. And I wrote it during uh, my residency in the US two years ago. And I'm, I'm just finalizing it. And also, uh, I'm working finally on a second poetry book. My first poetry book uh, came out in 2014, so getting back, uh, working on poems and trying to get the right narrative uh, for the book and uh, working on the poems is very exciting, as I didn't do this kind of uh, uh, editing work uh, since uh, 2014. And I'm also gathering some uh, materials for my next project, which will be a novel. And I'm actually hoping to work on it uh, during my stay in Buenos Aires. It's a novel about three generations uh, of women in the same family. Uh, one of them is... Uh, uh, one of these women is uh, uh, based on uh, the character of my uh, grandmother, Aisha. Uh, who was who were born in a, a small village in the high Atlas Mountains in Morocco. Um, the other woman is her granddaughter, uh, which lives in uh, somewhere uh, somewhere around the world. Uh, our days, and the third uh, woman is uh, this woman uh, grandchild, which which lives in a post-capitalist era somewhere uh, in, in this geographic uh, uh, location, but uh, it's, it's not longer a country or anything like that. So I'm now working on, uh, on some uh, materials, uh, reading a lot and uh, trying to uh, uh, get in connection with, with my characters. So I'm always uh, reading a few books uh, in the same time, uh, so I will let you know about a few of them, which I'm reading right now. The first one is uh, Poetry in Hebrew, 
by a close friend. It's his first uh, book, poetry. His name is Israel Dadon. Uh, his poems are really strong. Uh, they talk uh, in a very straightforward way from one uh, aspect, but from the other one, they keep inside them a lot of references to biblical texts and to history of uh, places uh, in Israel and uh, other places that uh, people living in Israel came from. What I love uh, the most about uh, Israel Dadon's uh, poetry uh, that it is very strong uh, on stage, but as much as uh, it is strong on stage, it is uh, very much uh, uh, alive mm -hmm. and um, really gets into your bone when you read it. And it's an amazing quality to have uh, in uh, poetry. And the other uh, uh, book that I'm reading right now, it's an anthology. Uh, by Granta Magazine, which we have it here also in Hebrew. And last year they uh, published an um, um, anthology of stories by a new Spanish writing. So I'm now uh, preparing myself towards coming to a Spanish-speaking uh, country and trying to keep up with uh, all materials that I can read uh, that were published uh, to Hebrew. So in this uh, short anthology, there's a story by Juan Vico and Andres Newman and also uh, uh, Sonia Hernandez and lots of other uh, young uh, writers. Um, this year I read a few books but by Andres uh, Newman uh, that uh, were published here in Hebrew and also wrote uh, some uh, critics about his work uh, to Haaretz uh, newspaper. I really enjoyed his books. I haven't been to Argentina and I'm very much excited about coming there uh, next year. I am so much thrilled about coming to Buenos Aires and uh, meeting uh, the people and uh, being part of uh, such a beautiful program as the literature program uh, in the Malva. So thank you and have a great week.